Should be live. Uh, give me a second here. I'm running a little late, unfortunately. The plan was 12 p.m. Eastern, but, uh... Yeah, it was half an hour late. Uh, I think we should still have time to finish this, though. I don't think the free day is going to take too long, but of course there is, you know, the, uh, I guess, like, level 3 of the Einhell Keep, but it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be that bad. Uh, either way, booting up the game right now. But, uh, welcome, everybody. Hey, what's up, Livy? I believe this is part 19. Good lord, we're, uh, we're getting up there. Oh, Livia, how's how's your day been? I saw that you were dealing with uh some Xenoblade weirdos, man. What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Um dining room table watching you on uh to distract myself? Yeah, no worries. Um No major plot events happening uh in game anyway. Can I not get the Oh there it is. All right, now it should be up. Uh, setting my dining room table, doing data to track myself. I mean, gotta do something. Hell, I'd probably watch streams um when I'm making like my breakfast in the morning. But usually, there's not a lot of people on. I need to maybe find streamers that are on that uh on that time. Oh, he's got new artwork too. They updated this uh story progression. Can't make anyone out in the background there behind the alley corner. Hmm. Wonder what the deal with that is. Hater's coming in strong to harass me for liking her. That's so dumb. Amelia is the best one, by the way. <laughs> but it's like, honestly, who gives a shit that much? Like, I saw the one person replying with that, and I'm just like, why do you guys care so much? Like, I don't get it. Like, it's kind of funny, even like with Cold Steel 3 now, it's like, I'm enjoying all of the new Class 7, but it's like, God, if I mentioned I liked one, like, in a tweet, I'm like, okay, is there gonna be a shitstorm coming my way when I like all of them? I'm like, oh my God. I really don't get Twitter sometimes, man. Get the weird ones. Uh, I guess I'll check on the dorms. This smells enough to calm me. Look at have such a kind sister, Schwarzer. Oh, thanks. Did Elisa uh, brew some tea? Grown up into a finding woman, but she's still the baby of the family. Don't want any uh, skeevy flies buzzing around her, you know? I have a sister five years younger than me. I know that feeling. Hey, what's up now? Oh, is that so? Oh, well, she's not as thoughtful as Miss Elise, but she's still my sister. I'm responsible for her. I see. I wonder what a sister is like. Ah, uh, hopefully not as much of a hard ass as Michael is. Hopefully. What's up, Selson? Hey, what's up, Ronan? Good afternoon, everybody. I think you'll be hosting a party for Lady Elise. And Fry, hey, what's up? Good lord, everybody comes through at the same time, I love it. Makes me wonder if Twitch has like a weird like buffer system where like... It doesn't go live till like 10 minutes after or something. Actually no, it's been 4 minutes. Hmm. I don't know. Um... What if you would allow me to flex my... My buttling muscles? Excuse me, is that a word? I never knew about that. I think I'll start with updating decorations. Add an air of luxury to the place. What am I doing talking about it? Really must get started immediately. Thank you, Selson. Hope it doesn't go overboard there. Eh, he probably won't. Yo, that's a nice spread. I almost swore there was a spread like this. At least with fruit, like in the morning, I would just take one. But yeah, we should be able to finish, um... The majority of the free day stuff today in the next two and a half hours I don't think it's gonna take that long if we play our cards right um, we'll get through this no problem there are a few side quests but it doesn't seem like a lot of them are like super time-consuming it's a lot of Q&A 
stuff, so, uh, shouldn't be that bad. Question is, uh, who's it gonna be this time? I guess at least took a bath with uh, Yuna and the others yesterday. Seems like they all have fun. Oh no, this is a disaster. Reen, get out. Walking disaster. Hey Ash, uh, taking a quick bath before you go out? Yeah, I couldn't relax, uh, relax in here last night. Hmm? Why are you not feeling well? I would have been fine if not for the loud one, the fluffy one, and your sister. I was trying to have a soak in peace, but they were just so damn noisy over there. Yeah, I can picture that. Sorry about that, I guess. Every time. Did you know he's angry? So I can't believe our, our principal is that demon woman, but... This bath's alright. She's got good taste. Ignoring that first part, I'll agree with you. Are you a fan of bathhouses too, Ash? I guess we've got that in common, at least. That common only ever, ever took showers. That was always enough for me. You're from, uh... Oh, I think they've mentioned this place once before. Uh, Rackwell in the west of the Empire. Situated in a valley, right? Yeah, it's an entertainment city. Don't see many of those in the Empire. You look in the right spots there, you can find some special bathhouses. You like bathing so much, maybe we should go check them out. Oh my god. It seems like you run off to Heimdall every so often. Hope you're not doing anything like that there. Who knows? I admit, I would like to check out that spot place next to the race course, of course. Or rather, though. Ah, the famous hot bath salon. I've actually been wanting to try it out myself. Oh uh, yeah, you're from some famous hot springs town, ain't ya? Or you can even go snowboarding there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that snowboarding minigame is, uh... Something. You know yourself. Though, you can only snowboard in the winter. I'll do it in a sec, not... Damn it. Didn't come here planning to chit-chat like that. I see that's the third benefit of a bath. I'd like it if Class 7 took a trip to Amir one of these days. Heh, <laughs> no way. Well, maybe I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah. I still can't get over the fact that this man's weapon has to be a scythe, too. Like, <laughs> oh my god. It's just so funny. Fun with Ash strengthened. Ah, damn it, it's getting close to two star. He's not gonna like that. Bubbling is a word. Different tense of uh, verb uh, bottle, which is to work as a butler. Good to know. Yeah, it's the first time I uh, heard of that. I feel like JRPGs are subtly educational games for me. Because some. Almost every time I play one, I'm learning a word I never uh, heard of before. Alright, so where to next? I guess I could check the other floors of the dorm really quick. Oh, usually nobody's here. Alright, Elise is here. I thought she'd be out already. Are you watering the flowers for me? I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate you helping out with the chores, but... How do you think watering the plants qualifies as a chore? Uh, I mean, I sure would. I'm lazy as hell. That said, I did wash that big pile of clothes you had sitting around. I was gonna do the laundry tonight, I swear. Seriously, Elise, we're both adults. I really can't do this myself. I know you can, but I'm your sister. I want to take care of you. I mean, what else is family for? All right, as usual. Man, I don't know if I'll ever win an argument against you. <laughs> Christ. Uh, anyone else? Oh, actually, yes. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess they would uh have their own rooms now. Well, that's speckle negotiation to be that tricky. This is a bit more high level than I thought. Rachel Lassie at Carnegie's no slouch, that's for sure. Over to Noise you on next, but that's gonna be a tricky one as well. Uh, no chance of giving in here though. Times like this are my special secret notes come in handy. Or when my uh, notes come in handy. One more. Oh, Celine. Okay. Take a little nap on my bed, are we? I was right in the sunlight. I can move if I'm in your way. I know, by all means. Get some rest. Also, shoutouts to modeling. Or I guess... Texturing? I don't know. I'm not sure. Probably is a texture. Uh, the toe beans, though. Very important. Even give you a nice massage if you'd like. Definitely wouldn't. Now listen here, you, you womanizer. Oh my god. My favorite trope. Not really. Not gonna win me over that easily. Slain really can be difficult sometimes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that really tripped me up for a second. I forgot Reen's uh, mirror is the only one with like actual reflection. For a second I thought it was like a cutout or a texture glitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Christ. Uh, anyway. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. I guess... That station square is fun. I so we need to water the plants today since it rained. Perhaps I'll simply check the drainage. Oh, it appears someone already took care of it. I have a feeling I know who the culprit is. Probably sell sin, I'm guessing. Does that guy get enough sleep? I worry about him. You can't be that perfect. It's an invitation to join the Becky Association. I'm going to go small shops. That'll help us keep prices down and exchange information like the major stores. I see. Becky's amazing. Yeah, she's a very talented merchant. But I won't be joining her. Really? Perfect opportunity to bargain with her, like a game. Oh my god. Oh, I see. Becky's gonna have a hard time with her. Christ. Frankie, who uh, handled puddles? NPC dialogue? Ah, okay, okay. I guess one night's sleep made me forget. I talked to him both times. Um. I'll save that for later. I'll do bonding events after we do the rounds really quick. Oh, Jinko's here. Is she gonna buy Mishi? Hmm? What's uh, Jinko doing here? Wait, what the? So many plushies. So, so many. Got Mishi's too, and they're limited edition. I mean, at that point, if it's limited edition, I'd probably buy it. On this part of my replay, so I remember a lot more of the details now. Oh, cool. Yeah, she has a girly side to her, after all. That's kind of a relief. Yeah, the plushies here are pretty well made. This is as good an opportunity as ever. Why not buy one? Well, that's a great idea. I like the limited edition one, but I want the other one more. No one ever bought me anywhere like this, or brought me anywhere like this before. I'm getting lost here. This must be a pretty big deal for her. I mean, listen, the safe option will be go for the limited one, and the other one will hopefully be there when you have the cash uh, next time. I don't have time for this. Gotta meet with... Okay, okay. Pick one, pick one. Do limited, I'm telling you. It's safer. I mean, unless it's a limited edition you really don't want. At that point, then that's uh, kind of pointless. Oh wait, so I'm guessing Cerberus is manning the store again? Yeah! Hello, friend. Hello, good morning. In charge of the store today? He's all grown up now. 
That's it. Okay, but what are your thoughts on uh, the PS3, PSP, and Vita store closing in a few months? I agree, it's pretty bullshit. Can't, uh... Can't believe gaming preservation is fucked once again. Uh, let me see. Alright, the ceramic stuff we don't really need. Oh, I forgot about the bargains. Huh. Eh, nah, but I'm good. Store has quite a wide variety of uh, ammunition. Dog minding the shop? Is that even okay? Uh, yes. Probably? I don't know. <laughs> I'm imagining a situation where, like, someone is asking for change. And, uh, I hope the dog is good at math. Let's see. Check the mayor's house for the hell of it. We'll probably go to the, uh, chapel next to do one of the, uh, side quests. No one else is really here. Frankie recently started talking about his dreams again. He's just gonna give up on them again. It's embarrassing, but he's always on my mind. Hmm. So this is a reoccurring thing for him? Oh, I didn't know there was another uh, entrance to this place. Oh, what's up, Randy? Oh, there you are, Randy. Here for a meal. Yeah, lunch menu here is tops. Been really busy lately, so... Figured I deserve a nice little break here and there every so often. Every so often? Kinda looks to me like your whole free day's been one nice little break. You got me there. Well, anyway, you should take a break once in a while, too. Stop worrying so much about everything, yet. Yeah? I don't mind shooting the breeze with you if you want. Yeah, I just might take you up on that sometime. Oh, hi, Gina. Uh, glad I got to see you during the day. Just stop by to pick up some ingredients. Did you ask me to prepare for a welcome party? That is right, I guess, because uh, Lisa's here. You're gonna be home late today, so good luck with taking care of the store by yourselves. <sighs> Just me and Daisy today. I met a girl named Sandy this morning. She seems to be really enjoying uh, working in the fields. Had an in-depth conversation about farming. Maybe I'll give her some of my veggies. Well, that seems pretty cool. But I guess that's it. I don't think anybody is usually on the second floor. Alright, chapel time. We are breezing through. Oh, we'll just go for it. I guess we'll talk to the kids first. Zach beat me at a card game yesterday. As punishment, I need to apologize to Mom. Guess I can take uh, care of Teddy. Mr. Zahn's class is so fun. Uh, what about Armin? Yeah, what's today's lesson? How do... I mean, he came? Yeah, I heard he wanted me to be a guest teacher for Sunday school. But why? You've already taught them a lot, right? Well, yes. Everything has been going well. Even the restless boys have been paying attention. And so, good to know you're writing them in. Now that I think about it, Ozan was popular with the boys at Thor's, too. Having trouble uh, teaching geography. Talk about places that are far away, the children have a hard time grasping what I'm talking about. In other words, they're just not getting it. Figured that since you've been all over, you might be able to pique their attention. Good idea, actually. I see. I mean, at the very least, uh, my approach would be different from yours. I'm sure it'll be a refreshing change for the students. Also, I have another request. Could you get Elise to come as well? Elise? Her school is really famous in the Empire. Thought the girls would love to hear from her. I'm sure it'll make things livelier, therefore easier for the students to take it all in. Ah, I see. I get it now. 
I'll need time to prepare myself mentally, but I'll let Elise know too. Thank you. Hey, what's up, I guess? Good afternoon. I think Elise is at the dorms. Guess I'll go tell her. Actually, uh, since I'm Eastern, is it afternoon for everybody else or is it like morning? I don't know. Time zones are uh, fun? Question mark. Not gonna force you into it. I'd appreciate it if you accepted. So I guess I gotta go talk to Elise first. It's a centered evening. Ah, okay. Oh my god. 10 <laughs> 30 p.m. Oh, time zones are weird, man. Alright then, uh, good evening. Good evening, good afternoon, uh, good morning. All of them at once. It's all we can do. Hey, what's up, Crux? And hello to that motorcycle. Yeah, that's totally getting picked up on the mic. Fun! There's something wrong, Reen. So this is where you were, at least. At least staring at the wall. Oh, she was actually taking care of the flowers. Uh, this is where you were, at least. Well, implied, but you know. <laughs> they can only animate so much. Uh, knowing her, she'd probably agree to it, but... What should I do? Actually, there's something I'd like to, uh, your help with. It's in the school of request release. You and I as temporary instructors? Well, if you're okay with it, then I don't mind. Thanks. That's a big help. Let's head over to resign right away. Thank you both for coming. It's been a while since I last saw you, Elise. You two have met before? We're acquainted. I actually met a few times when I was at the Heimdall Cathedral. Oh, okay. I had the chance to talk here and there. The school and the cathedral are in the same district, in case you were wondering. Oh, I see. Guess it's a small world after all. Anyhow, you want me to teach uh, geography today, right? Yeah, so the focus on Celtic, Prospell, and the Nord Highlands? That shouldn't be too hard. In any case, they've only heard about those places, so it'd be great if you can give them a quick overview. I like uh, fresh slates. That's true. Appreciate if you could answer any questions they may have. I'll let you two decide how to proceed with class. Gotcha. I think this side quest has been in every uh, Trails game. I remember it being back as early as FC, so... I'm trying to think if it hasn't shown up in one of them. In that case, I'll teach the basics. You want to handle the questions, Elise? Maybe it wasn't in Azure? I don't remember. Uh, sure, leave them to me. Should we do a quick overview before the children arrive? Oh, wait, no, it definitely wasn't Azure, because that was when, uh... Kia was going to Sunday school, I think. Be prepared for the class. Children quickly uh, gathered around and Sunday school was fully in session. Sky SC and CS2. Yeah. I know it wasn't one of the crossbow games, at least, so it was probably Azure. Yes, one or two. Hmm. That's true. I guess Cold Steel 1 and 2 didn't really have this. Okay, everyone. We have a special class today with very special guests. Rita and Elise, go ahead. Some requests to Nord? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Let me introduce myself. My name is Reen Schwarzer, and at Thor's Branch Campus, I... He's an instructor in the Ashton Chevalier. He's gonna teach us today? Cool. Yeah, this is gonna be so fun. Hey, you two, listen to the to the teacher. More importantly, who is the black-haired lady? Uh, lady. I can't... I can't speak. Oh, you're also energetic. Guess I don't need to introduce myself. After all, uh, at least, can you take over? Sure. Nice to meet you all. My name is Elise, and I'm a student at St. Astray Girls School. That's it. Teach the kids there? Yeah. 
Same as Straya, that's that famous, uh, famous one. Ah, oh, you're so cool. Super pretty. Looks like a princess. I'm so jealous. I'll be assisting Mr. Reen today. Nice to meet you all. That was a good intro. I like it. It was short. Alright then, let's get this class started. Let's talk about a place called Keldic. Keldic, I've heard of it, but... It's on the directly opposite side of the capital from Leaves. Simply put, it's... A textiles town? No. Industrial town? Definitely not. It's a popular market town. Market? Yes, it's where people go to buy and sell things. They can buy snacks, juice, toys, and stuffed animals. How oh, cool. That's like heaven. Just God. Reminds me of uh, the first time I actually went to a uh, flea market. It's been years since I've been. There's like a local one, but... I guess now, due to uh, current events, probably not a good idea, good idea to go there, but... God. I kind of miss it. Markets are fun. And so, that's it for Keldic. Did everyone understand that? Yeah. Sounds good? Let's see, if there are any questions, I guess we can proceed. Yes, next is Crossbell. Crossbell? I know Crossbell. Rappa told me that, uh, honey from Crossbell's yummy. Uh, that's Armorica, but I guess close. Well, no. Okay, never mind. Yeah, now it's just wrong. Not quite. There are many neat places in Crossbell. Elise, would you like to chime in here? Of course. Place of Crossbell is famous for honey. <laughs> the theme park, yes. Of all the things in the theme park, it's honey that it's popular with. <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay, this one's incredibly dumb because if they put like uh, mains or uh, mines, if you will, if they just put that in, okay. Maybe you could get somebody with that, but the fact that they call it the Mining Village makes it even worse. Oh my god. Marco Village is a place in Crossville that's famous for honey. How many flower fields there? It's really pretty. Wow, how romantic. I want to go. Maybe we can catch some, uh, some bugs too? At least you haven't been to a Marco Village before, have you? Yes, I have. When I was accompanying the inspection team at Crossbow, did some studying there. I see. Well done, Elise. What a splendid answer. Well, it's the last one. Let's talk about outside the Empire. Next is a place I've been to a few times. The Nord Highlands. Oh, Nord, isn't that the place that's in all those so uh, old, old stories? Isn't it really far to the north? Uh, you know, Tom, the place that has that super huge statue? Yeah, I remember the fairy tale. I think that's all I know about it. I mean, I would like to know what the fairy tale is, but I guess we'll see. I see. The region is named after the Nord people who live there. We have the goddess of the sky, but they worship something else. That is... <laughs> ah. Oh boy. I have no idea. What's, uh, what's the one thing Gaius says, like, 80% of the time in his English script? The wind. Oh my god. Nord is on a plateau. They have majestic views. They're surrounded by really tall mountains. The wind there feels really pleasant and almost divine. It's that different? I want to play tag there. I heard Nord is really big. We get to lost there. Also, praise the sun should be the right answer, but I know it won't give me the bonus AP. I guess I went well. That's about it for Nord. Does anyone have any questions? Can I start? Go ahead. I've talked about so many places, but where are you, uh, you two from? Yeah. You're not from any of the places we talked about, are you? I'll take it from here. We're from a place called Ymir. In the northern part of the Empire, during winter, it's completely white, covered in snow. White? Snow? Cool. Never seen that before. 
Yeah, even when it snows here, it's only just a little. World covered in snow? How romantic? Oh my god, Teddy. Everything's romantic to that girl. Didn't think they'd get so excited about the snow. Neither did I. Wanna talk about that one thing? It's a very popular sport that involves snow. <laughs> I mean, these are actually legit. It's snowball fights. Uh, no. It's, uh, it's snowboarding. It's called snowboarding? Slide down snow-covered slopes on a special board? Now I wonder if Elise has ever done, uh, snowboarding. The sun, yes. What? Did you hear that, Cheryl? That sounds super fun. Zach, when you go to Mir, we're racing. They got them pumped up? Yeah, it sure did. Glad we shared that with them. Oh, man. I didn't notice that, uh, that little detail with the, um, the, uh, the rug. I guess it'd be rug. Um, I just noticed something like that little, uh, indent there. It's actually curved. That's nice. Now, Marina and Lise, were you just about, uh, or we're just about out of time. Do you have any closing remarks? No, oh, we're done already? I want to hear more? I'm glad to hear that. How about we wrap it up with uh, by answering one more question? That sounds great. I want to ask then. You two seem uh, to like each other. Are you going out? Oh my god! No. Uh huh? Well, are you or aren't you? Hmm, it seems suspicious seeing as you're both in the same place. That's true. So you are? You caught me by surprise. There's no way at least and I are. <laughs> oh, of course. Ah! No way? Uh, at least? Hey, never mind. Why must he always be so. Yeah, yeah. Huh? What did I say? Anyway, I have to tell you that we're siblings. Christ. Uh, really? Aw, oh, man. Seems like there's more to it. Fine, then one last question. Mr. Reen, do you want your lover to be older or younger than you? Um, why are you asking that? Which one is it, Reen? I'm curious too. Oh my god, Rosa, I don't encourage this. What's going on here? I guess I have to answer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this one matter? Oh god, let me check the guide. Does that affect any of the AP score? That's your different response, is Elisa's response. Oh boy. Uh take professional off and then maybe we'll consider that. Uh as you go ten. How you doing though? Good afternoon, evening, morning. Uh, for me, it's the afternoon. Um, I'm tempted to go for... Hmm. Actually, what are you guys feeling in chat? Definitely not younger, right? We can rule that one out. Um... Awesome streamer voice actor visual effects artist. What is going on? Yo, y'all y'all are creeping me out. Is this a cult? <laughs> oh my god. 32? Oh, uh the people in the uh in the chapel, the kids that were asking if Reen prefers um people that are, you know, same age, older, or if uh, age, you know, doesn't matter. For some reason we've gone to this point. So I'm like, I don't know. Hmm. Same age and older? Pretty much. Hmm. Taste in women? Yes. Damn it. I would flip a coin, but I actually don't have a coin nearby to flip. Oh, well. I, I guess I'll go for same age. Usually it's the safest option. Reen would probably play it safe. Age doesn't matter. 
Hmm. Wait, you know what, though? Fuck it. Let me go older, because I want to see chaotic responses. Let's go. Older. I'd have to say older? In that case, I see. So I'm out of the question? <laughs> Teddy, you are definitely out. Reen would get cancelled. I'm surprised you know that phrase. Anyway, let's leave it at that, children. Aw, oh, man. It was more tame than I was expecting. I said that so I wanted to make it funny, Lord. Now, hey, everyone, thank you, teachers. Three, one, two, three. Oh, uh, you're welcome. That's energetic. I would scream, but it's too early for that. The day is just getting started. Thank you so much for today. Children truly seemed like they had a wonderful time. Well, thanks to both of you. Looks like we were able to live up to her expectations. Either way, glad to have been able to see her skills as an instructor firsthand. FBI has left the chat. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's a little embarrassing. But I feel like this is a good experience for me. Until later, Rosine. If there's anything else you need, feel free to ask. I certainly shall. I believe I shall return to the dormitory. Hope the rest of your day off is pleasant, Reen. You too, Elise. God. So wait, Ronan, what did you get for, um... For picking if uh, age doesn't matter? Hmm. Is there anybody else in the books and games? Nope, it was just her. Once again, more motorcycles at this hour. There's nothing I can do. I would put the noise gate higher, but then it cuts off too much of um, the in-between. Uh, noise gates are weird. It cuts off too much of the in-between. If I put the noise gate up too high, then it just... I don't know. I don't like how it sounds. Uh, finish organizing all the entries we got. These are the good ones. These are the crappy ones. Have fun looking through them all. Oh, this one's not bad. These still look really promising, too. Thanks, Lily. Got a really good eye for this stuff. Really? Anyway, hope you appreciate all my hard work. Green dots the question, what the hell? <laughs> God. Guess what I said yesterday? Oh. <laughs> I already know because I saw... Um, I think you were live when it was happening. Uh, Xenosaga 1, correct? I'm sorry, I killed your thunder. Oh, I see fish in the water. I'll check this one really quick. There. Got a bite. This is promising. Ah, oh, shit. It's him. But I hope you enjoy it. Um, I've it's never played him, so. I couldn't tell you how it goes. All I know is that apparently Xenosaga 2 is. I might have this twisted. It could be the reverse. Um, all I know is that 2 is a good one. I think, from what I hear. Any minutes? Otherwise, great so far? Ah, uh, yes. Just like me with the Demon Souls remake towards the beginning of uh, that game. 2 is a bad one. Okay, then I guess I got it reversed. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Ignore whatever I say. There. Maybe 3 was a good one. Got a bite. This is promising. Big boy. Not bad at all. Oh, that's a new one. Speckled trout. There. Two is bad, three is great. Can't go from here. Hmm. <laughs> nice. This is the same one. I got yep. it. 
Let's try one more time. We'll go for good, actually. There. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, is this all there is? Is this the entire meaning of it's my existence? A okay, one more. I just need to confirm. There. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. I got it. Okay, then I think that's it for all the fish. Because apparently in leaves, if you do miss any of the fish, you can always get them here, so. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, check Greater Trista. I guess we'll check the bakery. That's like the only place we haven't been. Welcome. She's regular here. Oh, uh, we really get along well. From the capital. Sabrina works there. We have many things in common. So I went to the sage to buy their new collection. Oh, I wanted to do that too. You told me they already had a ton of reservations. Right? When I heard that, it makes me want it even more. Oh, Sabrina. Oops, Lord. Well, have fun, you two. Man, speaking of the Xeno games, though, um, uh, briefly used it as a joke, but man, I gotta mention this on stream. Guys, I'm really... <laughs> this might be a good spot for fishing. Partially bummed out about the events that are happening with um, the PlayStation storefronts. Apparently, PS3, PSP, and Vita storefronts will be down by, like, July. Which... Well, apparently the Vita one's gonna be up till about August. But holy shit. This is, like, the one thing I have been dreading for years. Like, I know the Wii shutdown was bad, but that was just Virtual Console and some WiiWare games, and it's like, okay, it sucks. There are some genuinely interesting games there, but it pales in comparison to one that I was worried about was, like, Sony's digital storefront getting discontinued eventually. Because, man... There is so much there, it is hard to even quantify how much DLC, how many games that were delisted, or games that are digital only. Like, a lot of people are doing that quote retreat and saying, like, oh man, this is why you go physical. But that only accounts for about half of the library on that storefront. Because um, that was back when a lot of, like, mid-tier releases were happening, or, like, you know, middle... Um... The games are coming out where it's like they'd release for like 20 bucks but only like on digital right like that was happening a lot back then so it really bums me out and even then sony's doing a terrible job with game preservation they're barely putting out stuff for ps1 games on like ps5 or ps2 games they tried a tiny bit on ps4 but that was such a lazy attempt like i'm glad some games are there but it's like man if we're really going to dunk on Nintendo for messing up all this shit, too, Sony's not doing a great job either. Um, I'd love it if we got PS1 and PS2 games on PS5. Some of those games are still great, but it's, like, even a good example for me. I want to check out Xenogears and uh, the Xenosaga games at some point, right? Hey, guess what's on PS3 that I could buy right now? I probably will buy it for sure before this stuff uh, goes down. Xenogears on PS1. You know how much that game costs physical nowadays? Usually up in the hundreds. Right? Like, the fact that that option is going to go away for some people, I know I can emulate. Some people do not go through those hoops. Like, the fact that those options will be gone for hundreds of people fucking sucks. So, uh, that's all I got to say. It's a huge bummer. I really, I was dreading this happening for years, and I guess we're finally here. Oh my god. Oh, Zigo 10, dude. Sony's, like, digital storefronts for PS3, PSP, and Vita are going away in July. Uh, PS Vita digital will be going away in August, so... Man... All I gotta say, the last thing I gotta say is just piracy wins 
Piracy wins once again. Emulation wins once again. Anybody who shits on emulation or piracy, I'm like, listen, this is exactly why we need it. Because then when this stuff goes away, we got nothing. Like, it's embarrassing, man. If they can't preserve their own stuff, their own backlog, you have to do it. What choice do they give you? Really gonna do it? Um, you're Frankie, right? I saw your request. Oh, you really came? Right, no way I'll lose. I've got uh, the Ashen Chevalier with me. Does it go all the way? Well, that's the thing, man. Zyotan, that's exactly the problem. I wish I could go physical all the way, but you can't. Because then there's DLC. Then there's... Oh, my God. Then there's games that only release digital. Like, this is the thing. That's the first thing everybody says... And I wish I could do that. But you and I both know we can't. That's the shitty part. Um. God, that just sucks. No, they suck to still use the Vita Sore. Yeah. It'd have been great if PS focused on backwards compatibility like Xbox did. Yeah, I wish. I really wish. Um. But that's all I got to say on the matter, it's just, it sucks. It sucks, but, you know, I'm not against uh, emulating that stuff, so hopefully... Hopefully the community can find the workarounds where Sony clearly cannot, you know? And at some point, I don't know what Microsoft is gonna do, but... We'll see how long that one lasts. God, I don't want to be... I don't want to be cynical, but it's like, who knows how long the Microsoft storefront will last. We'll see. So you watch World gonna be a burning blazing star? Oh, before you go Supernova, can I go over the request with you? Chris mentioned your dream job. Does that mean you need to, uh, you need job hunting advice? That's right, Instructor. I need your advice. Should be the same for every platform. Oh, storefront? Yeah. As far as Rapture, I think it's a DLC, yeah. And if you don't buy it, then... That's the other concern, too, is that I don't think they've said... Will we still be able to re-download stuff that we purchased whenever? Or... Do I have to buy a storage thing and just... Download every single thing now? Like, that's, that's a fucking nightmare. Like, that is my concern right now, too, is, like, how... How can we be safe in the things that we purchase? Like, do we have to buy, like, a fucking 5 terabyte storage thing and use it? Alright, this is a PS3 hard drive now, right? Is that what I'm gonna have to do? I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm waiting on more details, but... Oh, boy. That's right, Instructor. I need your advice. Want to try and become a bracer? Uh, a bracer? Hold on, can I get the whole story? Oh yeah, let's take it from the top. Tell you the truth, Instructor, I actually went to a pretty ritzy high school in Heimdall. Over there I got hired at one of the hardest jobs to get into, the Heimdall Bank. Seriously? I didn't see that coming. Lose everything, then there goes 80% of my game collection since I played... Uh, a ton of my PS3? Yeah. Like, if you can't re-download too... That means a lot of the PlayStation Plus uh, games that you would get monthly, um, they're just gone. Oh my god, I have many questions. Look at me now, uh, I know what you mean. Quit that place after only six months. Thought it was good. The job was just passing mirror left to right. Photos were insane. Couldn't find any word for meaning to it, so one day, I quit. Pops didn't agree with my choice and won't let me forget it. It's true, I'm still unemployed though. So yeah, just been spending my days in an idle haze. A dropout. I've heard there are a lot of people like him these days. When I was at home, uh, Heimdall the other day, I found it. My perfect dream job. And that job is... a bracer. I'm guessing one of them helped you out or out of some trouble while you were there? How do you know? Thought it was done for when I lost my wallet, but you brought it back to me? I'm gonna go digital on Steam. 
Even then, whenever I like a game I play first on Steam, double dipping get physical because of what happened with the Wii and what's happening now. Well, as you go 10, I'd agree to an extent, but I think of stuff like I don't think people fully understand. Like, when I say a lot of games came out digital, a lot of good shit came out only on PS3, only digital. Or same thing with 360. Like, even a clear example for me is a lot of the Capcom fighting games. Like, Dark Soccer's Resurrection, a really good remastering of, I think, two of the games in the series with rollback netcode. It's really dope. Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, one of the best versions of, uh, of that. Like, that's discontinued, but it was still digital only. Same thing with Street Fighter uh, Third Strike Online Edition, right? Like, even that shit, you can't get those physical. Like, they were digital only. And it was stupid, too, because on PS3, you would have to do... Oh my god, I... This is a part that worries me, too. A lot of games did this really stupid shit where you would have to download the game, and then it would download an unlock key. But you were essentially downloading a demo, which was the full game, and then downloading an unlock key for it. So I'm like, how is this going to work when these storefronts are down? What is going to happen? Like, it was this stupid, dumb process. Um, You know, so that's a concern. Like, I, I hear you, Zigalton. I buy most of my Switch games physical. Like, I, I get it. But man. <laughs> oh boy. It can only save and preserve so much, and it's sad. At the very least, PS3 physical games, you know, are Blu-ray discs, which are meant to last way more. But... Frickin' yikes, man. Only races with, uh, passion. Fuck Activision for what they did to Spyro, yeah. And to be fair, PS3 and 360 era was when they were doing smaller digital releases like that. It was a lot of, like, shorter, um... A lot more modest remasters and ports. So, I get why they felt it, it wouldn't warrant a physical release. You know, we didn't have limited run or stuff like back in the day. So, it's just... Some of them are just left in the dust. And it's really unfortunate. Um, it's just not how it is right now. Nowadays, you can probably get a physical for a lot of notable games. But, back then, it was just completely different. Uh, I thought I was done for when I lost my wallet. She brought it back to me. X collection was a thing. The only way to get X's 5 US version was from the PS3 store. Yeah. The one with tan skin and silver hair. I never seen someone as cool as her before. Ooh, what? He's totally talking about Shara. Oh my lord. Um Limited Run is a limited run. Yeah. Limited Run really was quick about quote retweeting and dunking that shit, and I'm like, listen, y'all are Limited Run. It's in your name. Like, where do you get off boasting about this shit when your service is trash? Like, I got River City Girls, like, the collector's edition, because I was excited for that game. I waited, like, over three months for that shit to show up on my doorstep. Like, cool. I wanted physical. I sure got physical, but I didn't get it on release. Back, like, all the hype down down, all the excitement that game had when it came out, died down by the time I got that game. I'm like, thanks. Thanks, you assholes. I don't know why I had to take that long to get here. Um, I really just don't. You know, like, it's, it's service like that that makes you want to go digital anyway. Christ. want to see her. I mean, same. Hey, Instructor, you know a lot about bracers, right? Kind of, uh, you being the Ashton Chevalier, you know. You'll be able to give me, uh, some good advice, right? Oh, okay. I get what's going on now. No idea who the bracer you met was, but I do know a few of them. Also know the way they work in their job contracts, so I think I can give you some advice, but... You sure are back? Absolutely. Doesn't seem like he understands how difficult it is to be a bracer in Erebonia. This is something that could affect his entire life, so I can't afford to give him any bad advice. What should I do? Like, the two characters that we haven't seen from the Sky Games pretty much make cameos is Shara or Zinn. 
um, to my knowledge. Like we saw Chloe in uh, the Crossbow games. Obviously, Estelle and Joshua. Um, but man. Alright, if you're truly serious about this. For real? Ah, oh, yeah, thanks, Instructor. Kevin? We saw Kevin in the Crossbow games. I don't strictly mean 3D. Yeah. Like, we saw Kevin, Reese, we saw all of them. We already saw Josette here. Nice, hey, Instructor. However, if I'm going to help you, I'll need to judge you to see if you're cut out for it. Being a bracer is not an easy job. If at any point I feel you don't have what it takes, I'll tell you so, alright? Analyze? Uh, true, actually, yeah. Yeah, all of them. Man, I miss her. She's one of my favorites. Of course, please do. I would love to see Annalise, uh... Annalise doesn't exist. No! She has rights. She's part of the Eight Leaves, damn it. Can't do her dirty like that. From Claudius for a Bracer. I feel like there are three big ones. Proper judgment. The ability to quickly assess the situation and handle it properly. Passion. Protecting others without question. And finally, the courage needed to change judgment and compassion into action. I'll test those qualities one by one in that order. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up, Sam? How you been, man? How's uh, how's life? Frankie, gonna give you three tests. For the first one, uh, good way to test judgment. Vantage Masters Battle. Yeah, we'll test Judgment with a card side game. That's a that's a great idea. Um, I'm guessing this one. Surprise! This isn't a bonding event with Fee. True. Yeah, they could make it there. Uh, let's see. Hey guys, how's life, man? I'm gonna have you sort some documents at the branch campus. Huh? Sorting documents? Just come with me. And call the head in to get permission. Took Frankie with him to the branch campus. How else could this go wrong? Man, this place is pretty crazy. I heard it was a state-of-the-art military school, but dang. Yeah, it's pretty much fresh out of the packaging. Honestly, I can't really say we're using it to its full potential yet. Oh man, just a work. Life is good. Can't complain. Everything been on your end? Oh, it's been alright. Um, I spent uh, pretty much February um, learning video editing for the first time. Which uh, took a while, but I got used to the uh, editing program, so it was a learning process. Uh, <laughs> although, sadly, I still have not put out the video. Um, oh, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, if anybody is going... Like, listen, if you're all, like, you know free on a budget and you just want to learn this stuff DaVinci Resolve is the best free video editing software and I say that as someone who like tried other ones like I got Sony Vegas with like I think there was a Humble Bundle or something that uh, was going on like years ago I tried Sony Vegas couldn't handle it um you know couldn't get like to grips with it I tried Hit Film Express I've tried you know a few of the free options but DaVinci is the best one um, it pretty much has everything you need for free. I don't know how they get away with that. I guess because they sell other products on their store, but, um, it's great for learning. Um, it has, like, five modes, right? It has, like, a cut mode made for speed. It has edit. Um, you can also edit audio and do, like, transition and effects, like, all in the same software. Um, it's good. But, yeah, um, I ended up learning all of that. Um, took a while. The video's still not out only because of the YouTube algorithm. I still need to um, find the time to watch like, a YouTube video or something. Or people tell me, hey, this is how you should tag your stuff. This is how you should use hashtags. Because I'm old. I don't remember when YouTube started adding hashtags. I don't know why it matters or not. Um, same thing with the title. Um, <laughs> so that's the only thing stopping me from releasing it right now. Um, the video has been done for uh, a while now. But I figured, let me just get back to streaming. Because um, I pretty much was on hiatus for that month. I wasn't streaming. I was uh, pretty much doing video editing boot camp, if you will. Um, well, 
it wouldn't take that long, but it also was like I was stuck in a bad rut. But I finally got it done, you know. Everybody's been there. That's why it mainly took a month. It was just like in a bad rut. But, um, let's see. Some of the things about the venture Resolve. That isn't working out for you. Crack version of Adobe Premiere. Oh, I... <laughs> Yo, I hear you, man. I got that cracked, uh, Photoshop CS6. I know. I, I ain't above that shit either. Um, I think I'm trying some video editing, so I might try it. Yeah, DaVinci, honestly, if you just wanted to do, like, simple cuts, um, the cut mode already is, like, a nice simplified way to look at your timeline. But, um, yeah, if you look into it, Ronan, DaVinci Resolve, by far for me, is the best free video editing software. It feels like there there is nothing holding you back for a free version, which is insane. You can buy a license, but honestly, I think the majority of people will not need the, uh, the license, which is surprising. Um, I was expecting more restrictions, but no, it pretty much has everything you need. Um, money for that Adobe sub free. Fuck out with that shit. <laughs> Using crack software. <laughs> Listen, it was only Photoshop. Um, not even joking, it was only Photoshop, because fuck that. It costs too much money. Uh, here are all the documents to be sorted. You need to organize these. Got permission for you to do this, but since some of this info is confidential, please keep it to yourself. Oh, I guess, uh, Sam, uh, afterwards, though. Uh, let me see. Actually, how much is the Adobe sub? I haven't, uh, checked in a while. Um, but no, I guess future plans are, like, you know, games are coming out. I'm excited for Monster to Rise, uh, that's coming out on Friday. But, uh, yeah, I was taking the first uh, few months to learn video editing, but uh, at some point getting back into like um, a voice acting practice, there's still a lot I need to study and uh, improve, because I'll be real, man. Last year felt like I wasted it. I was streaming way too much, um, and I enjoy playing video games, but I was streaming too much. I was focused on things that I really shouldn't have, um, and it felt like last year I was like, man, progression's uh, pretty slow. Um, just in life, you know, some people might think like, dude, why are you being so hard on yourself? But it's like, honestly, a year's a long time. And, um, I know COVID sucks, but it's like, that would have been like the time to really learn this stuff. But, uh, regardless, it made me reflect and think like, okay, I got to spread this stuff out. Um, you know, I got to focus my priorities on the things that matter and, uh, have fun streaming for sure. But, uh not be afraid to just be like, all right, I'm taking a week off of streaming. I'm going to take whatever amount of time I need, you know, because I took the pretty much the month off unless there was like um some gaming news, like announcement stream. Like I'd be like, all right, might as well stream reactions to that. But it's like, it's like a month off. It's cool to see that people are still here even a month after of me uh, not really streaming anything. So it's like, you know, this year I learned to just take breaks. If I need to do something else and get it done, just take a step back, honestly. Same with Japanese. Didn't do enough last year. Yeah. And it sucks. It's a it's a rough feeling. And then it all hits you like a truck. And it's like, all right, we got to fix this. You know? We got to fix this shit. Got to gotta steer the ship. Totally feel. Actually uh, reassessing your priorities. Planning a new course of action. Yeah. It's how it is. Everything in moderation. But either way, uh, that's life. Oh, uh, I'll just keep going here. But I hope you've been doing okay, uh, too, man. All pretty boring stuff. Looks like purchase orders and requests. Teach for scrap lessons and curriculums. Should I just toss these? Organizing these documents is usually Instructor Toa's job. Need good decision-making skills to get it all sorted out right. Let's see what he's got. 30 minutes later. All done? Good job. Took a little while to get through all that, huh? Oh, looks like it's all really well organized. <laughs> I thought I was gonna say, nope, you missed. Oh yeah? You used to do the stuff like this back when I work at the bank. This acts for submission. This one's for bookkeeping. This one's for scrap plans that might still be useful. Some of them were missing dates, so I wrote them uh, with red pen. I think this school is new. Missing dates didn't stretch back too far. Man, listen. If it was that much stacks of paper, 
Are you telling me to get this done in 30 minutes? I would not. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I would take longer. Personally. Uh, I was able to figure them out easily enough. Wow, really? I'm actually kind of shocked how well done this is. Might have a lot of potential. You've got to be a speed reader, god. Well, how about it? Did I pass the first test? Yeah, definitely did well. In order to be a bracer, you'll need knowledge to go along with your judgment. Seeing as how you graduated from a prestigious school, I don't see that being a problem. No, not yet. It's pretty fired up for a single compliment. On to the next test. Uh, this time I'll have you. Pick up trash. No. Um, go with a test compassion. I guess uh, check his reputation in town. Maybe? Let me double check the guide on this one, actually. Wait, what about? Didn't even know Sony Vegas is on Steam. Oh my god, I forgot about that. 50 bucks for Sony Vegas on Steam? Yeah. Like I said, I got mine through a Humble Bundle. I could re-download Sony Vegas if I want, but... Like, not even joking, DaVinci Resolve is so much more intuitive, at least for me personally, that I'm probably never going back to Sony Vegas. Unless there's, like, a specific feature it has, I'm more than fine with DaVinci. It has everything I could possibly need. Like, it's professional. It's the real deal. Uh, let me see. Okay, it is, uh, check his reputation in town. His personality? Let's go around town to see if he's worthy of being a bracer. All instructor, what do I gotta do? This next test, nothing at all. The other thing I would consider is, like, um, maybe getting, like, um... I think it's, like, what do they call it? Adobe After Effects? That might be, like, the one thing I'd look into. Um, because it might help with the video editing process, but... It pretty much does everything I would need, unless I want to get super ambitious with, like, a video project. Um, I can't see myself really needing to. Can I ask around and see what people in town have to say about you? Parallel video editing? Yeah, it's what I hear. But I'm taking baby steps for now. I'm like, alright, let me get a full handle on just, like, making the video. And then, uh, adding After Effects afterwards, because if I start with that now, ooh boy. Like, there comes a point where, like, if you put too much work on yourself when you're try uh, starting to learn something, you might not want to do it, you know? <laughs> so, gotta ease it in. This just isn't relaxing. I'm so bored. Maybe I should just walk around. It really seems interesting. Oh, something wrong. Oh, you're... My name is Telston. I work at the French campus. If you don't mind, allow me to make you something. Oh, wait, Sam, uh, you been playing anything recently? Hope it suits your palate. Frank is a little older than, uh, Keenan and Daisy. They used to all play together when they were little. Like games that were meant for girls? I see. I mean... Depends on what they mean by meant for girls? This young man helped me when I tripped. Carried me all the way home. How considerate. Oh, that's right. He's quite the gentleman. He's a good kid. Something's off about him. Forgot what it was exactly, but he was trying to guide a tourist to a destination and... I accidentally went to the completely wrong place. It was hilarious, Lord. Hmm, that is funny, but it's not very bracer-like of him. The other day, he rescued a turtle near the river. It was turned upside down. It's a pretty good story, huh? I see. Thanks for the information. What a random... thing that you just remember. I think I've heard enough. I started to feel like him wanting to be a bracer is no surprise at all. He and Fee may be nothing alike, but I'm guessing the average bracer is more like him. XCOM 2 or Chosen, Hitman 2. The title that came out towards the end of last year called Spearfarer. The Patrol Cozy game I've been enjoying. Just sort of relaxed. Nice. Yeah, I've heard of all those. Um, I've never played the XCOM games, but... 
I feel like they'd be for me, but I've heard uh, notorious things with like. I forgot the we what the meme is. Is it like 90% or 99%? I'm like, is it really as frustrating as people make it out to be? Um, I don't know. But for me, um, I'm just excited for Monster Horizon that comes out on Switch. And uh, I guess next year later on PC. Gonna be messing with that with uh, some friends. Because um, I've been playing that series for a while. And uh, Rise is looking great. Uh, Monster Hunter World has already like added a lot of quality of life stuff to the series. But... Rise is a really nice mix. But uh, I'm looking forward to that. 99% shot misses. Yeah, that's what I hear. I'm like, oh my lord. Shit's fucked. That is much, but those moments do stick out. Hmm. Because I'm like, man. I might check them out someday. I don't know when, but... Sounds like a pretty good list of games, though, for sure. Salson? It's Reen. Oh yes, I'm having him relax now, just as planned. Also been provided with plenty of food. Thank you so much. Sorry for the sudden request. Planning on having him take a pretty tough uh, test after this. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Though I didn't know the details, it's clear this request is somewhat outside the norm. Don't hesitate to let me know if there's anything else I can help with. Well, since you're offering, there is one more thing. Can you tell Frankie to come to the keep? I'll be performing the final test there. Aw, oh, shit. Man's gonna learn with trial by fire. Difficulty accessibility options to make your experience not as frustrating. Span of sci-fi and turn-based strategy. Good one if you like that. Oh, yeah. So I'm, a, I'm a fan of both. So, uh, we'll see. That's right. Academies even have things like this. It's called Nine Hell Keep. It's a facility for combat trading. I'm gonna try, since it's confirmed for PC next year. May just wait till then. Of that toggle you can ride on. Yeah. No, that's the thing. For me, um, I'm a big uh, Monster Hunter fan, so it's like I have no issues double dipping. Um, especially because I have friends like Shin, who's like an even bigger fan than I am. I like I'm a fan, but it's like I'm a, I'm still casual. But that man puts in the hours. He knows a lot of information about the series, so I'm like, all right, we're gonna have a lot of fun times um, on release. It's just one of those things that I can't wait for. Um, but I will gladly double dip on PC. Because uh, I'll enjoy it on Switch, but man, I I want that 1080p60. Which is sad. Uh, it's sad that the Switch can't do that reliably. Uh, real talk. I still enjoy the console, but... Yeah, I want to get to the point where it can at least do that consistently. Um, doing a lot more when I accept that sometimes the game's gonna fuck my shit up. Accept that L instead of reloading a save. Recover and doing a comeback is exhilarating. Oh, for XCOM? Yeah, I can see that. Um, that's usually how it goes. Unless the repercussions for failing um, an objective or something is, like, really rough. For most games, it's usually good to try to save something. You know? Or save a bad situation. We're testing the final quality you'll need there. So this is the last test, huh? That means a second test. Yes, you pass. Definitely have some potential. That's what I think for now. Yo, don't get too excited. I knew it. I felt a jolt of lightning when I saw that woman in the capital. I knew it was something I had to do. I knew it was my destiny. And to be honest, I wasn't so sure at first. But now I feel like you've got a pretty good chance. However, this last test will be the most difficult yet. This will be a test of your courage. Courage. Body bracer should have for sure. I have to prepare a short course for you and I now keep. Monster World was my first entry in the series. I had a blast with it. Oh, roaming as fuck for a bit. Yeah. Uh, once I found favorite weapon, hunting horn. Yo, a hunting horn player? That's rare. Holy shit. Like, Rise, um, Monster Hunter Rise changed a lot about the hunting horn, so I'd imagine a lot of players are going to come through now. It's a lot more aggressive. Like, you get more mini buffs as you play, instead of, like, you know, having to learn the notes, it seems. But, man, that's surprising. Good on you, man. Um, yeah, a lot of people did not play Hunting Horn. It's one of the... Well, it's weird. It's one of those things where it's, like, it's almost like a support role in a lot of games, right? A lot of people don't want to do it, but if you have someone that does it on your team, they are pretty much the MVP. Is at least the feeling I get, and... Same when I see someone else on Hunting Horn, I'm like, yes, please. 
please give us these buffs. Um, you know. So it's cool. Um MP games that works for me. Yeah, pretty much. Um Let me see. Uh what else? Or when you for a bit, once I found my favorite weapon. Rich appreciate the death of these games. Yeah, Monster Hunter, everybody has this kind of like similar arc with Monster Hunter games where it's like it feels slow, doesn't feel great at first. You got to get a handle on things. But at a point, for most people, it takes it takes a lot of hours, I won't lie. You know, there's something to be said about how many hours it takes for it to click. But if you stick with a Monster Hunter game, it will click eventually. You'll start to appreciate, like, you know, the monsters, like, telegraphed moves. Like, you, you appreciate the cycle of hunt, upgrade, hunt, bigger stuff. You know, like, it just feels satisfying um, to play throughout. But, uh, you know, that's what made it satisfying for me. The first one I played was 3U on the, on the Wii U. Because uh, I was one of those people who got that console and there were not a lot of games to play on it. But there was um, a friend I met online via Skype that recommended that game to me. And it was pretty much the rest is history after that. Became a diehard fan. Didn't like 3U as much when I played 4U on 3DS. That's when I really started to love the series. Keep up with me until the end, you'll pass. Monsters roaming around in there, so it'll be dangerous. Also, am I being called? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, roaming around in there, so it'll be dangerous. Are you sure you want to go ahead with it? Yeah, absolutely. Got this final test started. Emirates tries on the Switch. Be cool to do some hunts together. Yeah, for sure. I don't play as much as other people, though, so it's like, you know. Hopefully we can do some together, but... Hey, Sam Kim, thank you for the host, man. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I don't play the series like religiously, so it's like, I'll probably be on for like four hours or five in a day. Who knows? Although if I'm playing with Shane, it might be like staying up till late at night, uh, knowing him. But uh, it'll be a good time, for sure. Cranky, stay close to me. I'm actually thinking of mixing it up myself with uh, weapons this time. I usually play Charge Blade. Um, I've been playing Charge Blade since uh, for you, but uh, as much as I enjoy it, I'm probably gonna go with Long Sword. <sighs> really, I really want to go with Hammer. Not gonna lie. The problem with Hammer though is that if you want to cut a tail or other parts of the monster, it's harder to do because there's like different weapon damage types. There's, like, uh, Blunt Damage and I think, um, Cut. I'm not sure, like, the exact names for it. But Hammer, you know, since it's focused on, like, Knockouts and KOs, it's not really meant for cutting. So I'm probably gonna go with Longsword in case I gotta do a solo hunt and I gotta cut the tail for a carve or something. That is the only reason I'm going Longsword. But I did play Longsword in 3U, so... I'm still curious. But... I... Man, I really just wanna go straight into Hammer, but... That, that's, uh, them's the breaks, I guess. Gotta make it to the goal, then I pass. Is that a monster? This is getting a little intense. But I tried Hammer, um, in the Monster Hunter Rise demo, and it's incredibly fun for how simple it is. It's just satisfying to get that knockout. God, I love it. Can't think like that? Let's do this, Heach. Roger that. Just have to keep him out of harm's way. Hey, welcome back, Libby. Uh, let's see. Ain't cutting tails of that blunt weapon. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, Charge Blade is great. It's complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really fun. It's like a Swiss Army knife, you know? I've heard Switch Axe is pretty good, too. That's what I love about Monster Hunter, though. It is a weapons showcase. Like, there is no other game I've played that makes the game feel different and yet satisfying, no matter what weapon you pick. There's usually something for uh, everyone. Didn't take long to find the fight. Must be a good warm-up. He's very powerful. Don't look at it directly. Uh, Frankie? That's not the reaction I expected. <laughs> it's Everyone very ready? deadly. I mean, it's not even... It's level 32. Let's go! Oh god, but I'm blind. 
Uh, I guess I'll do this. Actually, no, I'll just do magic. It's not worth it. I think we have a fire spell. Yeah. There we go. Everyone okay? Frankie is like, I'm here in the background. Jesus. Thought it was going to be uh, an escort mission or something. <laughs> Bro, you weren't even in the fight. Um, are you okay? You, you bet I am. Oh, come on. We got to keep moving. Yeah, there's a long way to go. I'll have to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Christ. This man needs help. Ah, uh, swapped the veteran difficulty. Brought it down to filthy casual, still clutching my butt cheeks at times. Lord. Generic NPC tries to be a bracer. Fails horribly. More at 11. Monsters, we're gonna die? Let's stay back. Get away from me. Man, he's really petrified. Everyone ready? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait till he has to see six of them on screen at once. Uh, looks like wind or earth is a better option here. Arcus, activate! Can't believe this. Yeah. Oh, you got Come it, on. Sam. Uh, I'll do that really quick, actually. All right, all right, fine. It might be the entire bottle then. Ooh, okay. Okay. And of course, let me do it again. All right. All right. We'll do it again really quick. Okay. If I have to take a bathroom break later, you know why. I'm up. This is why I always get the water it's bottles on turn. standby. All right, nice work. <laughs> what the hell? Getting the feeling you might be scared of monsters. Are you kidding me? This is nothing. L let's keep going. It's really not looking well. Is it okay for us to be doing this? Good question. <laughs> Everything was track. It's a pretty good battle theme, yeah. Might not be my favorite in the series, but it's good. God, I can't believe I'm going to be going from playing as Dreen with his freaking katana, going to Monster to Rise, and I'm just going to be like, ah, yes, longsword. Ah! Why do I do this to myself? What the hell is this guy? Ah! Uh... Oh, wait, what is that face? You can't be serious. <laughs> Has he ascended? Everyone ready? Who knows? All right. Uh, Blade Fang. God, the yellow and green stripes just make it look funky. Oh, uh, let's see. It's mainly weak to wind. Earth seems pretty good too. I'm going to remove the ban option for life. <laughs> Head of the series, is there a new one coming out yet? Um, well, Cold Steel 4 came out um, last year on PS4. However, in my case, since I mainly play these on PC, um, Cold Steel 4, the PC version, and Switch version are coming out April 9. 
But that's it as far as news in the series goes, aside from Japan. That's it as far as Western Front. The only part that I care about, because I sure as hell can't read Japanese. But it's good. Um, it's a long-running series, though. It's one of the rare um, series that, like, it has, like, nine games in it. It's a lot of story continuity, but if you like JRPGs, you know, they're fun. Um, you could start with just the Cold Steel games. The more modern uh, 3D ones. The uh, older ones kind of go for, like, you know, uh, sprite-based isometric view. Kind of like uh, Final Fantasy VII, in a sense. Just, like, you know, sprites instead of 3D models. Um, less than three weeks away, yeah. Japan already got the Switch version? Damn. Well, I guess from the Western Front completely, then. Um, I'll do Earth Pulse, actually. Get some healing in there. Over time. Huh. Or just eat uh, shit. I can still fight. Oh, boy. Brutal. Picked up Bravely Default 2, because I've been feeding uh, JPG. Yeah. If you want to go old school, um, the first one in the Trail series is Trails in the Sky. Usually they go uh, on sale on PC pretty often. However, if you do want something by this same company that's a little more um, short form, doesn't take as many hours to finish, uh, you can't go wrong with the E series. It's just YS. Don't ask. That's what it's called. Um, but they're good. You could probably check out E8 if you want. Ha! They're more so action based to RPGs. I'm up! But they're very fun. I've played a few of those already in the in that series. Really good music too. Um, these are all done by uh, Nihon Falcom, and at the very least, the music is consistently pretty solid. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Hey, you know what? I'll just do an S craft. It's fine. Turn my brain off. Use a super. My blade, calm as still water. Ignore next, shimming it to the most days. Uh, up, internet, haven't played in a bit. Ah, okay. Seventh slash, Roughish leaves. emo anymore, unfortunate. Wow, you want to Let's cheat go. the turn order, sir? You want to keep doing that? Get out of here. It's my turn. Hmm. I'll go for yeah, Crescent Flash. Get back! All right, nice work. There we go. Getting three turns was surprising. Is that usually how it goes for Ashcraft rules? Because I actually have not paid attention to that. But good to know. Also, Jesus, that face. Large delay. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Did I miss anything in chat? Just one. Getting our next. Streaming it. Oh, yeah. I already read that. Definitely part of the E series. Nice. Cultured. Uh, let's see. And then, hope you enjoy the rest of it. Love it, but it's, uh, comfy fun. I think I still like Zero and FC more, though. Yeah, it's usually how it goes, Libby. Um, Cold Steel 1 and 2 are not bad games. However, um, they aren't the best in the series, so they're still enjoyable. I mean, there's still things to, uh, have fun with, but Cold Steel 3 so far has been, uh, much more enjoyable to me. It's a return to form, if you will. Frank, are you still with me? Uh, it's like he passed out. Instead of prodding at the mouth. He might need to put those dreams of becoming a bracer on hold. <sighs> well, you passed two out of three. Maybe, uh, maybe take a desk job at a, maybe a, a receptionist for the bracer guild? I don't know. Was it Frankie onto his shoulders and left the keep? be honest, always been a scaredy cat. No good at handling trouble. 
I knew somewhere deep down in my heart that I wasn't cut out to be a bracer. But I just wanted to dream a little. I see. I'm not sure. There has to be some way he can pursue his dream. But I can't be responsible. Hello, Master Rain. You seem troubled. Rain recommends that. <laughs> well, damn. Oh, you're... Selson, were you watching us? Yes, yeah, so it may have been a bit, uh, inelegant to do so. I found myself concerned. My name is Frankie. It seems that you do not have all the qualities necessary to become a bracer. But is that all it will take to deter you? Man. Real shit. Your resolve is so weak, perhaps you should not have tried to begin with. Damn! Shout out to Selston being blunt. The world is not such an easy place that one may use a lack of qualities as an excuse to give up. I know that, I do. But I'm sick of all this. I'm so sick of being miserable. My word. If the route to your goal is blocked, you must simply find another path ahead. Another path? Yes, for example. Even if you cannot become a bracer, you can still work for the guild. Ah, Selsin, I should have known you'd already have the answer. That's right. The guild also employs receptionists. It requires sound judgment and the same philosophy as a bracer. I'm sure you'd be great at it. That's true. There is another way. I think I might want to try it. There you go. Even if I can't become a bracer, I still want to help people like they do. There's one problem, though. It's not widely known, but the Bracer Guild is under heavy restrictions in Erebonia currently. Most branches here have been closed, so it'll be difficult to find a job at one. Say what? No way. Did I not just finish telling you not to give up so easily? The guild branches of the Empire may reopen one day. So I ask you once more, are you going to give up? No way am I giving up. I'm gonna do it, even if I can't become a receptionist. I'll find another bracer-related job. I see. But appear you have finally found your resolve. I have one final suggestion for you. Until such a time that you want, uh, that you find the job with the guild, why not work here at the Academy? Here at the Academy? Yes, even with my help here, the branch campus is in dire need of more people. It would help me greatly if I had an assistant to, well, assist with tasks uh, around the campus. I see. All those odd jobs would require similar skills to, to the work the guild does. You'd be able to learn a lot working under Selsen. Oh, I'll see to it that he will. I don't know how long it'll take. Probably be a burden at times, but... Selsen, please let me work for you. Yes, well then. Welcome to Thor's Military Academy's Branch Campus. Oh, that ended pretty well. Thought it was gonna be another one where it's like, oh man, not cut out for this. Guess, uh, guess you better pack your bags. Side quest over. Here's a 2000 Mira. Frankie was officially hired on as a caretaker. Happy end. Happy ends for one NPC. Everything squared away, so I'll send a great serve as Frankie's mentor. Sure was a bit of a pain dealing with me. But thanks, Instructor. Now I can finally move forward with my life. Don't worry about it. This is a big help for the school and the students, too. I'll be counting on you, Frankie. You bet, Instructor. Alright. Cool. Let me see what I missed in chat. This one's picking up around chapter 4. What is your least favorite in the series, in my opinion? Yeah, I'm in that same boat, Fry. This is currently lowest on my tier list. At least until I play Geofront Patch. Interesting. Interesting. Either uh, enjoyable, but I just came off the high that is Geofront Azure. Experience, so it's definitely different. Pretty sure Rune recommends that. Uh, this is my least favorite, uh, too. It's great, but I think I like everything Sky had more to offer more. Maybe my favorite though, zero plays part in that greatly. Yeah, zero is pretty low for me as well. Um, but I'll have to see. I still think I overall enjoyed zero a bit more than um, hold to a one and two, but uh, that's tough. Because like zero for me definitely suffers from having like a really lame villain in the story. Um, he just didn't do much for me. He came and went completely. Um, it's hard to say. 
I'd have to look back on them all. Uh, I haven't played Sky in a while, too. Who knows my opinion might shift if I replay it. Games is undecided. Other than favorite is Azure. Second favorite is third. Pretty good job making Presto feel like home. Helps uh, with the moments in Azure. Yeah. yeah. It is a good setup. FC, SC, and Zero is hard. It is. Country my favorite in the series, even after CS4 and Hajimari. Don't your dreams be memes since racers are pretty much a meme in Erebonia? Yes. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, so replaying any trails game has only improved my opinion of it. Yeah, I can see that. Um, the reason why I've played uh, Cold Steel 1 three times. Resolution actually reminds me of... Vagio? Promise one PC that wants to be a doctor. After failing past three times, he decides to become a nurse. Which is actually kind of cute. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Honestly, though, that kind of is how life goes, right? Like, when it comes to it, if you're not, you know, if you're not where you want to be in a certain career, all you can really do is train your skills in another way, right? Sometimes there is a different way to the same answer, you know? That's always interesting. Uh, interesting thing I see, even as someone who, you know, is still interested in voice acting, um, I like to look up a lot of interviews from people that have made it or have found their own... Uh, wait a minute, I just got a message. Hmm? Oh, I'll look at that later. Um... But yeah, um, I look up interviews for the people that have made it successful, and the one thing that fascinates me is that there is no real solution to this stuff, and definitely true when it comes to a lot of performing arts-related stuff, but, you know, everybody has their own way to get to, to, get to that career, um, in general, not just for that, but other places too. Sometimes it could even be just who you know and your family or what connections you have, you know, you could be going in a place that might not even have, like, kind of similar to that side quest where it's like, Bracer Guild is kind of dead in Erebonia right now, but it's like, who knows, he could establish relations with uh, someone else in the Pearl or somewhere else. Get to know some people. There's a lot of ways to progress in life. A lot of ways. There is no, uh, there is no one solution for anything, really. Of any good lyrics to go with the song. Everyone's been bringing me their ideas, but that's it. That's it, that's all. Flexible is a huge skill, yeah. See, sweeping is actually a lot of fun for stories like that. Bill's brother, nurse in St. Ursula, and also the best NPC. Nice. Yeah, I do some NPC sweeping. I've been doing it a lot more with Cold Steel 3, but uh, I did not do it as much for Crossfell because, man. Uh, Crossville City in itself, it's like, alright, cutscene happens, time to sweep the entire city again. I'm like, no, I like it like this, where, um, there's a, there's a few students on campus. I like to make the rounds here, because it feels reasonable for me. Um, just for me, you know. Huge skill. Body, rather, yeah. It's very important. If you're really stubborn and you really want something... All you can really do is keep, uh, keep hitting that brick wall. You'll break through at some point. Luckily for me, I'm stubborn. Like when I say that we made the song, uh, Valiant Might. He has some killer lyrics, then it'll be perfect. Gonna be the hardest part for us. He's having a hard time with lyrics, but the modern music club seems to be going well. Four sweeps in Azure Finale. My sleep paralysis demon. God. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Uh, let's see. What is... Oh, it's a shop. That really tripped me. I was like, what am I looking at up there? It's a shop with Vantage Masters icon combined. Oh, what's up, Kyrie? 
anniversary festival. Yeah, I've heard nightmare stories of that anniversary festival. Apparently everybody hated that. Not like I can keep this up. Which again was a shame, because it's like, man, I played through zero. <laughs> the festival happened, and I barely talked to any of the NPCs. Like, I hate that, because that's like, oh god. All this work that most players might not go through. Um, well, some, I don't know. I have no idea what the consensus is for uh, NPC sweeps for most uh, Trails players. It's something, for me personally, it's something that I would do on my own time. You know, if I didn't have to worry about um, streaming and uh, pacing. But uh, I'd imagine for a lot of players, they do the sweep. Good for a second playthrough. Harry, did you say something about transferring? This was the first time I consistently did NPCs throughout the entire game. I can see that, yeah. Cold Steel 3's uh, localization is actually not that bad. Think about quitting a uh, tea ceremony club. Really? Why? I'm doing this club because I wanted to become more manly. I haven't been getting the results I was hoping for. Hmm, I don't really understand his logic. If you want to do something else, I won't stop you. I haven't really decided what to switch to. I do have some reservations, though. I see. Tea ceremonies, huh? Master Kofi taught me a handful of things. In any case, Kyrie doesn't seem to have a grasp on tea ceremonies. Might be able to help him a little. Uh, different Azure are so good for NPCs. Some people will never see the genius of some jokes. Yeah. I'd love to do it, but god, I don't have the time. Although, you already know, I will gladly put like one or two days worth of sessions for Azure. Um, so it should be fun. But, uh, we'll do this. But yeah, Cold Steel 3's um, dialogue is a bit more enjoyable. But yeah, Cold Steel 1 and 2, I was like, eh, I'm good. Because I think what really helps with Cold Steel 3 is that the students are better. They have more personality to them, so... It's more enjoyable to make the rounds with uh, all the campus students, for sure. As far as, like, town NPCs, eh, they're okay. But I mainly, uh, am getting attached to the students, you know. Good on my Kyrie, would you allow me to pour some tea? Of course, I don't mind. If anything, it would be an honor. Alright, it's decided. Kyrie, you've learned all the basic procedures, right? Yes. In that case, show me what you've learned. I'll do my best. I don't see I want everyone to talk to at a certain point. The jokes are so good. <laughs> Prepared for a tea ceremony in order to test Kyrie's skills. I was actually wondering, yeah, Livy, how much freedom do you guys have to tweak uh, NPC dialogue? Is it pretty, pretty loose or... I don't know. What's the balance between, like, faithful to what it was, you know, in Japanese versus, like, you know... Really going nuts with it. Because I'd imagine with NPC dialogue, there is some freedom to that. Of the tea ceremony, part one. How to eat sweets. Alright, let's get started. Before you have tea, have some sweets. Which one? Um. Oh, you mean like the name of the person in the, uh. The Azure uh, Geofront? Good question. Right. Remember correctly. E2, leave one. No, it's everything. Consume it. Take us time. Kyrie finished all the dumplings. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm, well done. Tea ceremony part two. Preparing to drink tea. Please have some tea before it gets cold. Thank you. Citarine's tea is exquisitely delicate. I forgot to do this before having the sweets, but I'm supposed to... You praise the taste of tea. Take a deep breath. No, I believe it's a uh, bowhead. Thanks to heaven and the goddess. Ah, praising the heavens and the goddess before drinking the tea. Well done. Uh, part three, after drinking the tea. Uh, thank you, that was delicious. You're welcome. What do I do after finish uh, drinking? A white cup of napkin. 
Rotate cup 180 degrees. Yes. Gently wiped off the cup with his fingertips. Rather with his fingers. Then wiped his fingers with a napkin. Hmm. That was perfect. Good job, Kyrie. That was amazing. To be honest, I didn't expect you to know all of that. Thank you. Really had to think hard to find the answers. Instructor Rain, your tea was truly amazing. And the way you carried yourself was really cool. Or very cool. Same difference. It's a good reminder that tea ceremonies aren't just for women. Yes, that's right. Many aspects of tea ceremonies carry over to martial arts. I used to mention that too, but I'm having a hard time grasping that concept. Well, let's see. You said you want to be more manly. Why is that? I guess I just want to emulate my father. My father's very masculine and is a skilled swordsman. He's been my hero for my entire life. I see. How he also comes with the family of a baron. That reminds me of my dad. Take after my mother more? I was always teased for being girly. That being said, I'm well aware that everyone has uh, things they are more or less suited for. Listen, the ladies would be all over you. Just give it a few years, Kyrie. Uh, which is why I got interested in tea ceremonies. Thought I could discover my inner manliness. But I guess I wasn't suited for this either. Make it look easy, but I... Don't be so hard on yourself. I actually think you've gotten manlier since you first uh, came here. Huh? I can sense your growth as the leader of the medical team. Everyone relies on you during your field exercises. At the very least, you seem very manly to me. Oh. I think you're just focusing too much on your appearance, and not enough on your actions. You said it yourself. You want to find your inner manliness, right? In that sense, I think the Tea Ceremony Club is perfect for you. Practice the procedures until you can routinely perform them without any wasted movements. It's similar to martial arts. When you hone your skills, you will gain confidence. At least that's what I think. Mastering the art of tea ceremonies will make me more confident. You're right. I have a better understanding of it now. That's great. So, Doreen, thank you for all your help today. I'm gonna take back what I said about transferring clubs. I'm a proud Erebonian man. And I'm not gonna finish the rest of this sentence. Uh, and I'm gonna find my own manliness. At least I'll do my best. That's the manly thing to do is uh, only do one third of this text box. Yeah, that's the spirit. Pretty cool teacher. He's not bad, yeah. I really like Reen more in uh, Cold Steel 3 than um, in 1 and 2. Which, he wasn't a bad character in 1 and 2, to be fair. But, uh, it's really nice to see this side of him. Nice. Teaching is perfect for Reen. Yeah, I hope, um... I hope he stays doing that, but we'll see. Obviously, I haven't played uh, Cold Steel 4. But, um... It fits him very well. Uh, let's see. They're loving their life even if I don't see it. Pretty much, yeah, Ronan. That's the appeal of uh, the NPCs, if written well. Let me just scroll for a second. I think I missed some stuff. Uh, if it would let me scroll. There we go. Weird. If you see dialogue streams in the background, even if you don't do it, it gives them quite a lot of death. Oh, for sure. It's just that, you know. Some NPC dialogue is more interesting than others by default. Uh, let's see. Or Scott question. I know the uh, likes. Oh, he. Sorry. Uh, he likes taking liberties with NPC dialogue to make it fun, as long as the message is roughly the same. Go ham here and there. Depends on how NPCs were characterized in official localizations. Uh, Puna and Le Lena Lee. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We're entirely rewritten when this uh, localize them to have very youthful speech patterns. And they're a riot. <laughs> Lord. Sky and Tangram Gate. Forgot exactly which guard. Second rainy day after the derailment. Ah, okay. Quinn and Lani were written by Edda. Unsung hero of Azure. Yeah, he's... Good lord. Like, that's the that's the nuts part about the Geofront. It's just like knowing that, like, 
every single person is probably doing God's work, but I've heard Edda is like a real MVP. Um, I think... Who was it that mentioned it? I think it was Rybo's uh, mentioned that. Yeah, he worked on a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, for Ad Not Azure. Zero. Sorry. Ugh. Getting tripped up. But, um... Good lord. It was really cool to see uh, some people show up from the GF Front team uh, when I was streaming uh, the game a little bit, though. In the first few days. Gets me excited to uh, show it off next time as well. Not that I expect anybody on staff to tune into those, but uh, I really just want to... Even if I played uh, Azure already in another way, I'm like, man, I'd be kicking myself if I didn't, uh, you know, congratulate you guys on it. Scott, the two hardest workers that did all the non scenario attacks. Monsters, books, newspapers, etc. And a lot of scenario too. Nice. 2,700 calories. Um... I mean, that sounds high. I actually don't keep track of how many calories I eat in the day. I should probably be better about that, but honestly, I usually eat like two meals a day now, so... Eh. I'm usually fine. Most of the scenario is Scott's, baby. Nice. <laughs> My maintenance calories. Honestly, the biggest thing I've been doing in my diet is just drinking water when I can. I barely even drink juice anymore, but... I've been trying to kill soda. That's the biggest thing. Like, the first thing you should ever do, even if you don't want to do a diet at all... Kill soda. Kill any sugary drinks. You know? Cut that shit out. Maybe? Like, an easy rule to have, I feel. At least a way to ease me into that was, like... Have water for the majority of the day. Have a drink if you must on dinner. Right? Make it like a special occasion. Make it a routine to do it that way. At the very least. That's how I do it. You know, I might have some juice, um, you know, to go along with my dinner. But usually I just go with water most of the time now. Of course, when you go to a restaurant or somewhere, you can break the rules. But, uh... You know, that's usually the case. During my eating window, yeah. Cheat day a week as long as your overall episode over the week. Intermittent fasting was really good. Yeah, I started doing intermittent fasting um, when I was playing uh, Demon Souls uh, remake, weirdly enough. Or no, actually it was after I finished the uh, Demon Souls remake, so it's been a few months. Apparently my uh, sister has been noting that I've been losing weight, but I'm not paying attention, honestly. I'd rather keep it that way. Um, I'd rather just be natural. You know, it's just a routine I do now. Um, oh, there's an optional scene here. Been fasting. Murder soda again. Start exercising. Maybe get ring fit. I'd cut soda out entirely for a few years. It's COVID. My mom has been buying a lot of boxes of soda. On discount, it's been hard holding it off. Yeah. That was happening for me for a while, too. Um, the family's been buying a lot of soda. I was like, okay. You can put it in the fridge, but I have to resist the temptation. Especially when they put, like, all the juice and the stuff that I'd actually want to drink all the way in the back of the fridge. I'm like, I won't lie. Sometimes when laziness uh, gets the better of me. But uh, I've been cutting back for sure. Um, and I've told them multiple times. I'm like, listen, I'm not really drinking soda anymore. Because... Uh, don't waste your money. Um, but intermittent fasting is good. Because people, like, immediately, and I was guilty of this too, when people said that, I thought it was really bad. Like, when I hear the word fasting, I think of, you know, it being kind of a pain to do. But when you do, like, the 16-8 uh, split, it's completely fine. It was pretty much what I was doing, you know, just unscheduled. Um, more or less. It's just an eight-hour window for eating is completely doable, you know? The best one for me is one to nine. One to nine feels extremely reasonable. You know, you have enough time for, um, lunch or anything you want to eat, and then, like, you know, towards the end of the day, uh, go and have my dinner is what I usually do. So it's really doable. Obviously, the first thing is as well, just drink a lot of water. Um, when you're not 
you know, when you are in the fasting period. The drinking water is completely fine. Even, um, I've heard tea and coffee is fine as well. I think there's, like, a certain calorie, uh, like, limit. But, you know, those are fine. So I usually just drink, uh, tea or water when I can. Getting in some sword training today, Principal. Of course. I'm gonna use Blade. We'll rest after all. By the by, you're still looking for a way to control my, uh, your power, correct? It also helps to stream and play games, by the way. Uh, side note. I lose track of hours, you know? Because, uh, I'm playing games for hours right now, so it's like... Intermittent fasting is extremely easy if you play video games or find anything to distract you in the day. Like, you don't even feel hungry, because you're just focused on something else. It's great. Uh, by the by, you're still looking for a way to control your powers, correct? Imagine this means, uh, sparring is off the table. You're right on all counts, I'm afraid. Nothing gets by this woman, does it? Which reminds me. I heard your sister Elise, uh, delivered you a letter from Yinka Fai. Also, I love how I said, man, we got two and a half hours. We'll, uh, we'll definitely finish, uh, all the campus stuff, but then I got too distracted by chat. Y'all are too good. So, uh, <laughs> damn. So much for that. But we can pick it up, uh, in the evening later anyway. It's fine. From the Sword Hermit, you know? Heard that he and Master Arce, well, uh, once crossed swords. I've heard the same. They say there was no clear winner, but that didn't matter. Both men were more enthralled by the fight than the victory. Clearly, we know similar storytellers. You're welcome, pretty much. No, I don't even say that as a complaint. I'm like, this is... This is exactly why Trails games take me longer, because I just... I really enjoy talking with the chat. It's cool to just, uh, chill and talk with you guys. You trace them back to their roots, you find a multitude of, uh, commonalities. Commonalities? Well, I guess someone who has mastered both the Arsade and Bandra schools would know better than anyone. I wouldn't say I've mastered anything, though I suppose there aren't, uh, many who could reach that level I have. Makes 100 form, uh, military combat a fitting choice for the Imperial Army. 100 form military combat. That style draws its 100, uh, 100 forms from the Arsade and Vander schools, right? Can't imagine it gets too much use in the battlefield. Seems like a smart martial art to teach, uh, soldiers. Indeed. If it's good enough for the likes of, uh, Craig the Red, uh, Nightheart the Mighty, it's good enough for the rank and file. Context. That's for sure. But I've rambled long enough. Want to see your branch campus style 100 uh, for military combat in action? Wait, someone outside? I know you can hear me, Wayne. Stop looking, come in here. At, uh. Don't make me say it a second time. You will die. Yes, ma'am. Good luck, Wayne. You'll need it. Oh, my, it's chill. BRB? Yeah, no worries, Livy. Um, uh, stop drinking so much coffee. Think of cream and sugar. I don't like uh, black coffee. Yeah, I mentioned that um yesterday when I was uh drinking my tea. I mentioned that I got used to drinking it without any sugar or anything. Drink it raw, but it's good. Some of them are bitter, but some are good. Like there's a uh, citrus orange one that's actually completely fine drinking it without sugar. Like, there are just some teas that really don't need it. We never heard from Wayne again, yes. It's unfortunate. Actually. Uh, locker room female. Okay. Do I have anything else? What's the matter? Bring it on. Principal wants me to spar with her. My hands won't stop shaking. I understand how you might feel, but consider this a trial to overcome. Oh boy. Just, uh... Try to stay alive, man. Try to stay alive. Here's damn fine, but my parents really like bitter coffee. And Dora's is king of coffee. Oh, I believe it, yeah. Just don't have a taste for bitterness. Yeah. I'm not... Like, that's the thing. Um tea without sugar is fine. I cannot vouch for, um, coffee without it. Um, whenever I've had to drink coffee, it's usually with cream and sugar, so. I couldn't tell you on that front. Um, but, 
in light of all the water that I had to drink a few minutes ago. Give me five minutes. I have got to go use the bathroom. You know exactly why. You know what you did. So, uh, I'll be back in five minutes, guys. I'll be quick. But yeah, BRB for now. Really? Really? I was about to- I was about to get off my chair and leave. Yo, y'all suck. Alright, fuck it. I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. Fuck it. Before I go to the bathroom, I'll do this shit right now. Jesus Christ. Okay. I am leaving now. Five minutes. I swear to God. Don't burn or actually don't flood the house uh, while I'm gone for five minutes. <laughs> God. Okay, back. At least it's not, um, more of the usual. Alright, so that's... let me see. Actually, let me double check the time on that. It's usually... okay. So, no cursing for 20 minutes. I'll put a stopwatch on that. 2.35. We still got a little bit of time. Actually, um, yeah, that'd be enough time. 
I was gonna say I have 25 minutes left more or less, but yeah, we can just still do 20 minutes. So that'll pretty much be the end of the stream. I'll still put a stopwatch anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll say it once for context, because I'm not sure how I can make the um, channel point stuff show up. Um, but I'll say it once. I know the word is banned, but um, for context, anybody watching after the fact, uh, Rondrix banned, banned the word orble. So I can't say that the next few minutes. Um, alright. So, maybe I can get another side quest done? Well, actually, no, uh, here's what we can do. Let's, um... Let's do the bonding events now. Um... 20 minutes of no expletives. Pretty much. Um, alright, so... The bonding events that I wanted to do anyway... I'll be real. It's Elisa and Machias, guys. I'm doing new class 7. It's not even. It's not even close. It's not even close. New class 7, baby. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let me see. What's up, Kurt? Man, what's taking them so long? I'm starting to get nervous. I haven't even started yet. Calm down. Easier said than done. Kurt and Sydney, are you two waiting for someone? Yes, actually. We arranged a chess match with opponents from outside the school. Well, I suppose outside the school isn't technically correct. Huh? Don't worry, Instructor Rain. No matter who our opponents are, we'll give it everything we've got. Kurt? A chess match, huh? Something he's not telling me. Hey, Kurt, would it be alright if I watched the match? If we got outside visitors, it's my responsibility as an instructor to greet them, after all. Interesting detail in the Machias on the events. Let you know once it becomes relevant. Yeah, no worries. Uh, got outside visitors. Somebody as instructor to greet them all. Oh, wait, did I miss anything in the chat after, uh, all that stuff went down? Hold on. <laughs> Livy just said on it. Okay. That was, that was it. That was all I missed. Oh, heck yeah. It'd be a huge relief to have you there, Instructor. Because our opponents are... It seems we've kept you waiting. Oh boy, I had a feeling that would be happening. Those uniforms are from the main campus. Is that Instructor Shores or I spy there? A pleasure to see you again. Thank you for having us for your Panzer Soldat training. Ah, oh, that's right. You were the two who came with Prince Cedric. So does this mean you're Kurt and Sydney's opponents today? Pretty much. I am Ada of the main campus's class one. Oh my god. Is that Kira Buckland again? I'm Fritz, also from class one. A pleasure, Instructor Schwarzer. Got us to the chess uh, club room, would you? It's your thing. You saw me. Please watch your step, Miss Cool Beauty. Eh, she's alright. And he comes sooner. Yeah, I was gonna say it's the same uh, VA as Randy too. At the chess club room alongside Kurt, Sydney, and the two of them for the main campus. Format was two on two with Sydney and Ada playing the first match. However, checkmate. Thank you. What? How did this? Damn! Before I knew it, I already lost. Damn it! She's one frigid beauty. Her eyelashes are so long, they should be illegal. <sighs> You're starting to drool. Can't afford to lose, Kurt. Understand? Don't worry. He gonna carry. 
No issues here. Maybe I was worried for nothing. Second match between Kurt and Ada. After an intense opening, Kurt gained the upper hand by the endgame. Check. Well played. I resign. Yeah, you did it, Kurt. Here I was, thinking you might intentionally lose to me. Looks like you've let go of what happened with, uh, with His Highness. Man, she really had to say that right in the middle of this. That's messed up. It is time for the final match. Shall we begin? Yeah. What was that? Oh, haven't you heard? If he loses this friendly match, he's going to transfer to the main campus. What? What? This is the first I've heard of it. Is this Prince Cedric's doing? No, no, it's simply our suggestion. But seeing as he didn't tell anyone, he must feel rather torn over it. Kurt. Granted more, okay, Cal. Monday's cheat day. Nice. Match between Kurt and Fritz was a long one. Fritz's power moves are slowly giving him the advantage. Just one more push. Hey, he's not playing like he was earlier. Is he losing on purpose? As well as to guard the Imperial family, I'm sure he'd take any excuse to return his to His Highness's side. Ultimately, it's his decision. Kurt, listen to your heart. Do you really just want to be by His Highness's side? Oh. Hmm. What was I thinking? The real battle begins right here. Hope you're ready for me. Fine. What if he's still... <laughs> what if he's still lost? Kurt began his counterattack. Using everything he had, he slowly started uh, turning the board into his favor. Checkmate. Ah, damn it. Kurt. He came back from that? How cool is this guy? You win. Had the perfect excuse. Are you sure this is what you want? The perfect excuse being what? <laughs> Going to the main campus because I lost in a chess game. I guess that's what's considered the perfect excuse. I don't know. But right now, what I need the most isn't being by his side. That's just the way I feel. A well, loss is a loss. Suppose we'll just be on our way then. Oh, then, Instructor Schwarzer, Sydney, Kurt, we shall see you soon. I'd rather not. Yeah, good luck with your classes at the main campus. Now, if you'll excuse us. That was a thing. Ed and Fritz returned to Thor's main campus. He played a few games with the members of the chess club before heading on his way. On with Kurt Strengthened. Nice. He's uh, three star and up. All right. Um. Uh, hmm. So I want to do Yuna or Muse first. I'll save Muse for last because I never know what to expect with her. Could end uh, the stream on a weird note, I suppose. All right. Everything's set up for today's practice. By the way, Yuna, how's progress with that one thing? Well, it's just hard to find the right time, you know? Start making excuses like that, and you'll keep making them all the way up to graduation. Definitely a positive possibility for this shy, moody little girl who hides her true feelings under a veil of anger. I mean, it's a mouthful, but it's not wrong. Shy? Feelings? Anger? None of that's true. I think? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Inspector Reen? Well, we were just giving her some advice. Got an interleague game with another school, so we were just discussing how best to prepare for it. Oh, yeah. I think I heard about that. Well, I'm glad to see you're all so serious about practice. But yeah, totally. That means, uh, no men on the court. Shove off, Inspector Reen. Rude? Uh, sure thing. Good luck, you three. Thank you. 
Aw, oh, man. Sheesh. Interleague game against another school. I'd like to help out somehow, if possible. Well, <laughs> what if Reen refused? Is there anything I could help you out with? We got over the basics of the game rules and how to use a racket, so I might be of some use in your practice. And how to play just like that? For, for real? For real? Every time. Returns, debating on whether I should take a depression nap or play more Super Chronicles. Doesn't look like my internet is getting any time soon. Yeah. Uh, motorcycle, please. I wish I knew what to tell you, Livy. Hmm. It's hard for me, too. Although, I guess, in my case, if the internet was down, I'd just be doing video editing. Because, thankfully, I don't need the internet for that, specifically, but... Yeah. Damn. I don't know. Oh, wait, Livy, what happened with Bravely Default 2? Hmm. I don't know. But, um... I don't know what to tell you. Find something, or, yeah, taking a nap might not be a bad idea. Maybe, uh... Not sure if you're a fan of reading books or not. Something to keep you busy, but man. Learn how to play, uh... Oh, wait, yeah, we already read that. Good for the soul. Yeah. In that case, you may be able to use your help after all. Good try, I guess, but I've had such a shitty weekend that I'm trying to cope. Oh, man. Wait. Ah. Uh, I let it slip once. Okay, give me one grace period. Darn it, I was reading it. That's the hardest part. <laughs> I was under the no cursing rule and I messed up already. Okay, give me one. One slip up, at least. Um. But yeah, no, I hear you. It's just like... There is some things you can do, but eesh, depends. <laughs> I'll let it slide. Because I'm like, listen, it's either that, or it won't happen for 20 minutes on the stream at all, because I have to leave it <laughs> uh, 3 p.m. So I'm like, take it or leave it. Match is going to be a doubles match. Don't have enough members to practice that. Uh, can we do a match with you and Yuna against uh, Luis and me? Two hasn't been good, or has been good. Story is not drawing me in as much as Ray Default and Baby Second. Hasn't held my attention well. Hmm. That's fair. Um, I skipped that on it just because I tried the initial demo and it didn't leave me with enough good impressions, but I am glad that people are enjoying it. It's just that for me, it's like, I'd rather stream the first uh, two Bravely games on stream somehow. But, uh, I guess the only real feasible way would be with a capture card considering what the first game does. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how Bravely Default 1 fares with uh, emulation. Because there are some tricks it uses with the camera and whatnot that are really good. Uh, sounds good. I'd love to join. Step back for maybe seconds, to be honest. Yeah. What, you guys? I'm coming, you know? It's time to get ready. It's a chance you've been waiting for. Let me see. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Comes to PC, I might give it a try. Oh, the, if you're a JRPG fan, the Bravely Default games are pretty great. However, the first game does have one end point where um, it might be pretty divisive. It did stop me from playing for a good while. Um, you know, but it's it's very fun. The only thing I will say without spoiling anything is just... Stick through it all the way, and you'll be glad you did. If you're a JRPG fan, it is great. It's just... You might need to, you know, be reminded to stick with it. You know. Clemson's video on it? Yeah, I saw it too. It was really good. Um, Final chapter's padding. Yeah, that was the same for me, Crux, and I initially played really default. Um, It was the one thing that stopped me from playing it for a good while. I picked it back up later, but... Man, I wish that part wasn't there. Or at least not to the extent that it was. Like, I don't know. It was, it was a bit much. Um, have to go to try? Yeah, they're still great. Um, regardless of that, though, Bravely Default um, 1 and Bravely Second, they are some of the best RPGs on 3DS by far. Uh, they're some of my favorite games on the 3DS library. Honestly. So, uh, they're good. 
Is it ever worth it? Yeah. Not really sure what's going on here. We can join the tennis club members for a double match or a doubles match. Man, they didn't even move to get it. <laughs> Y'all suck. Nice, Yuda. You too. Game's not over yet. Don't let your guard down. Of course not. Won't lose either. Indeed, it's our turn now. It's all implied, you see. When's uh, when's Mario Tennis Aces cross uh, Cold Steel Three collaboration DLC? Oh, we did it. We won, you know. Jessica and Luisa were pretty persistent, though. Didn't expect you to be that good in Sucarine. Said you just went over the basics, but did you actually practice like crazy or something? No, well, just as much as I could with my free time. I knew that I need to be able to help out with all Class 7's club activities. Man, look at Reen. He's very kind. Good boy. But he's not best still. Don't get it twisted now. That means chess, swimming, tea ceremonies, even writing? I don't think a normal instructor would go that far. Well, it was only as much as I was able to practice. Only one at a time, so it wasn't that big a deal. Turn instructors Toa, Randy, and Michael are putting in it just as much work as I am behind the scenes. All in order to support you guys as you would have uh, as you've grown over the past few months. You know, you've grown a lot after the cross belt field exercises alone. Um, instructor. What is it? Well. Hmm. Kurt and Allie are both growing a lot too. Uh. Yeah, Kurt and Altino as well as Ash and Muse. That's how I've got to put everything I have into being your instructor. Let's all look out for each other, right, Yuna? Okay, um, sure. Doubles match having reached its conclusion, Reen heads off to another part of the campus. So you couldn't do it after all, even after all that help. But do you want to thank him for saving you back then? You said you wanted to thank him on behalf of your brother and sister, too, remember? Only going to get harder the longer you wait. You know that, right? I know, but it's already been so long, it'd be awkward to just bring it up. Thanks anyway, you two. I'll do better next time. My word, it must be exhausting being so shy and moody. Right? I told you I'm not. <laughs> Can't deny what you are. Face it. There we go. Favorite game in 3DS? Favorite JRPG gameplay was ever? Those are the jobs with some genius. Yeah, I gotta mess with it. Cause, uh, Livy, I will say right now, I've only played a tiny bit of, uh, Ridley Second. Cause, uh, my collector's edition is still in the box, so I gotta play it for real at some point. But I have no doubt that I will love it. Because, uh... Really Default 2 ain't doing much for me. No, listen, listen, Livy. Don't get it twisted. The reason... I have a very good reason for this, actually. Um, well, somewhat. You're probably still gonna think it's not a good enough reason. So, um... The reason I haven't really gone around to playing Bravely Second, um... That much yet, is mainly because it came out around the time when I started streaming back in 2015. So, I never got around to getting a 3DS capture card. It was the same reason why, for as much as I was enjoying Monster Hunter 4U, there was a period where I couldn't even stream it, because I just couldn't stream it. Um, so, at around the time when I was just incentivizing streaming games, or games that I could stream, the 3DS games were just out of the question, more or less. Um, so that time that I do have for, you know, gaming, was usually used up um, playing the Souls games for the first time. I played like Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, uh, the Metal Gear Solid series. You know, I played a lot of games for the first time, but yeah. So you know what? Okay, I'll spin it this way. I sacrificed Bravely Second for getting into the Souls games. Is it a worthy trade-off? I don't know. 
but I could stream the Souls games and I could not stream Bravely Second. That's all I got. I await your not good enough. But I'd like to get around to it eventually. I just don't know if, um... I might have to invest in a 3DS capture card even still. Um, I don't know how those games fare with emulation. Because, again, it's weird. Early Default 1 did a lot of stuff with the camera and whatnot, so I don't know how that works for emulation. BS or DS2? <sighs> Unfortunate, but true? Unfortunate, but true. But no, I think around the time Bravely Second came out was mainly when I was playing Demon's Souls and Dark Souls 1. But I hate... I hate Dark Souls 2. Okay, well, I don't hate it, sorry. I keep using that word... Yo. Real talk. I need to stop using the word hate. As much. Um, I'm devaluing the word hate. And I hate that. I think a lot of people are guilty of doing that. Because I need to just keep saying, like, dislike. Because I don't really hate any game I played. I finished Dark Souls 2, right? That's got to count for something. Um, you know? I mean, back then it was like, it was nice to play a Dark Souls game at 60 FPS. Because um, back then I was playing the Dark Souls 1 on PS3. Then I went on to Scar the First Sin on PS4. Um, but, you know, um, Dark Souls 2 is easily my least favorite in the Souls series. Um, it's not bad. It has some pretty good music, and the DLC actually was not that bad from what I remember. Um, but yeah, just didn't like the structure of it, um, as much. It's a real blur to me. Um, but the music was already, you know, the music was fine. Um, the game did look good in some areas, but yeah, just something really impressed me. Um, imagine going from Dark Souls 2 to Bloodborne, though. Who we? That is a glow up. That is like, yes. It was very good. And then Dark Souls 3, I love Dark Souls 3, so. It was only up from there. Um, but, I will say, it is about time, so. Sorry guys, uh, I don't have time for Muse's uh, bonding events. I have to head out. I already just got the call from Shin on Discord, so. I gotta go. It's um, the weekly anime uh, stuff we usually do, so. I'll be doing that. Um, it should only take about two, two and a half hours, maybe. Um, I might take a dinner break by that point, so I might be back at around 7 p.m. Eastern, somewhere around there. Um, truly hated recently are P4G and Far Cry 5. Wow, P4G is interesting. Hmm. But um, yeah, I'll be back at around 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'd love to stream more, but it is what it is. Got to schedule around other things with friends. But uh, yeah. Um, i love to discuss that, but, you know, another day. Um, but regardless, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, when we come back, we will finish the campus stuff and um, probably get started on the next field exercise that's happening um, in-game. But either way, you guys have a good rest of your afternoon, evening, morning, whatever. There are too many time zones. You have a good one. And uh, take care. I'll see you later.